So check this out. Let's see how it handles this. Wow, dude, that's crazy. It literally just handled a super tight situation. That is crazy. All right, guys, what's up? And we are going to, this is FSD 1415, my uh, Mad Max mode. And we're going to do a drive to an elementary school and have it parked there. I'll have to make sure that it parks, but um, yeah, here we go. All right, it's gonna poke out a little bit. I'm gonna kill this AC real quick. Gonna be making a right here. But yeah, so I think, you know, what I've been seeing, I've been doing some driving for about the past like 90 minutes or so. And the, you know, some of the similar things that I'm seeing with the Model X, and again, I, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, test out what I think is you know, real world type stuff, right? Like what are the things that you're doing on a Saturday? Where are you going? Uh, when it comes to, you know, going to a supercharger or going to the McDonald's and parking, absolutely perfect. But when it comes to, um, you know, driving into a downtown area and doing the loops to park, like it should, it's, this is probably, again, I, I'm not an expert here, but this is where it's gonna need to kind of think outside of the box rather than finding exactly a spot that's right in front. Because otherwise it just keeps doing the loops and it'll even pass spots that are behind other buildings to get there. Again, it's not perfect, but it does not have to be, this is not a, a curbside robo taxi experience, right? This is park to park. So get me close by, prompt me if you need to, um, but yeah, that's probably like my biggest critique of this V14. Uh, the other thing is, is that there's no, I have not been seeing any phantom braking. Um, I did see that in the early stages on my Model X uh, 1413. But ever since 1414, which was on my, is currently on my Model X, and 1415, which is currently on my my Cybertruck, the 1415 that I'm using today. This is again a 2025 dual motor. It's uh, it is it is making those kind of the, those same mistakes, right? Um, but again, with the phantom braking, that is completely gone. I have not seen that here. I again have gone to McDonald's. I've gone to the local. You know, supercharger, it's parked for me. A little work on the parking. The cable, thankfully, could still, um, you know, get close enough. Uh, but there's things like that that are just going to be, like, key for, for really moving forward, right? All right, so we're going to get try to get here in the left lane. And it, it's busy. It's around 5 o'clock. Shout out to the Daylight Savings. <laughs> All right, moved over. Well, it stuttered a little bit there, shuttered a little bit or stuttered, whatever you wanna call it. All right, we are gonna make a left here. Oh, check this out too. This is a left. Um, wow, check this out. So what's actually really crazy about this, and this is why FSD without you know having to completely rely on the maps is great because this lane these two lanes here used to be one lane it is now two lanes and again we're gonna make a left here you can see both these lanes are, are moving over and again this is where like it's able to adapt and that's why you literally did not see anyone on the right hand side everyone could go on the left so it's good that um that Los Gatos decided to actually make that entry because, um, you know, it was it was pretty much perfect when it did that. Um, but I'm just really shocked that you know it was able to to really just handle that. All right, we got two bikers over here on the right, but I loved how that it was able to like it may not know um, or have a ton of data on the, the the history of these streets and stuff like that. 
Um, but it was able to adapt even when something like that has not is just brand new. That's what's that's what makes this crazy. It's going to be able to kind of adapt on the fly. This car was poking out a little bit over here on the right. Uh, look at this. So it was able to handle people like walking across, but also to the um, the Model S, which actually looks like OG 20, 2015 one, the, just the way the cone was on that one. All right, so we're coming up to a three-way stop here. All right, that's perfect. There was really no action there. And again, I'm on Mad Max mode. It's staying at 25 uh, miles per hour, so staying within the residential speed limit. All right, so we're making a left into here. This is pretty tight, but um, we're gonna see how it handles. Look at that wide turn, loved it, loved it. Okay, so, I and I love how it's parking straight on. So just check that out, hopefully. It's not just going to stay there. So again, love it. It was able to go all the way in and it parked. That is just perfect. Okay, let's go to Starbucks real quick. I'm just gonna say navigate and then let's go. All right, so now it's backing up. So check this out. Let's see how it handles this. Wow. Dude, that's crazy. It literally just handled a super tight situation. That is crazy. The gates were on both sides and it literally took it like a champ with absolute confidence. That is crazy. Again, this is the Cybertruck FSD 1415 and it is just handling it like it's a boss. I love, what I love about this is you can actually feel that it's doing those wider turns uh, versus like my Model X, for example. It's just not as big of a vehicle. All right, so we're making a left. You can see, you know, all the people kind of coming by. There's a car that's making a left right now and then all these cars going by. Again, that's the good thing about, you know, kind of being busy. So there's, again, there's a lot of cars coming out here on the right-hand side and then even more on the left. So, but this one looks like it's gonna be making a right there. So we should be, it should go right. Could have had the chance right there. Probably a little bit, but like I said, you know, that would have been me, probably. All right, so look at that, Mad Max mode. Look at this, going straight in. Let's see where it will park. Look at that, making a left right here. That person's coming by. Just, all right, so we'll see if this ends up backing in or making a left. So, looks like it's gonna just turn and park front side or, yeah, look at that. Or it's gonna back up. There you go. Look at this. You can see the little Starbucks there too. All right, so it's backing up all the way. There you have it. That is crazy. Uh, let's go to Whole Foods real quick. Whole yeah, all right, so let's hit start. Okay, so now we're gonna be making a right here. And just check this out. So if you can see this, you can see it's it, there's enough room for it to go all the way, but there's definitely like two cars right here, a bunch of cars coming in. And then here we go, night mode too. And then all the cars are gone. Yeah, so this is like uh, my second, I will say probably because I'm doing like the Apple Los Gata store first, it kind of just keeps rotating and doesn't find. So I think sometimes it's like, it kind of like, you kind of forget what you're actually like, what's the reality of what is possible with FSD 14. All right, so we're poking out our heads here. There's no, no cars and it's gonna go. This is incredible technology, incredible advancements, incredible for what is possible. I'm not a, you know, an autopilot engineer, right? 
So this is just me critiquing it, just being a consumer. It, it should be pretty simple to, you know, realize the fact that, you know, if it goes around twice, like it needs to figure out something else, go a little bit further and then do it. But it should not be taking, you know, three loops. It's just kind of like, no one's gonna wait for that. They're gonna disengage and, 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 and have it go. You know what I mean? So um, I think that's the only thing. It's kind of like a, a bit of a bummer, right? Uh, this whole food should be a little bit busier um, than let's say this even the Starbucks was we're gonna just take this and have it park all right so here we go you can see lots of cars coming um, and then yeah it's just gonna park that's all it needs to know yep look at FSD pure vision just sees all these spots And check this out, it's gonna park um, right there in this spot right here. Check that out. Just kind of crazy. Wow. <laughs> and if you can see, you can literally see how close it is to that. Um, yeah, this is just, they did a really good job on that parked in Whole Foods for me. Let's go park at this other place. Union. Middle. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. So what's interesting here, right, is that I am trying to get out of this spot. And look at this. It's backing up even. It's doing all this by itself. That is pretty dope. All right, so we're making it right here. Needs to go around this blue car, which there's enough room. We'll see if it goes. All right, so this car is making a right. This car also all wants to come out. Look at this. This car jumped in front of us. All right, so we're gonna go to this uh, middle school and park thoughts on the day. For this drive, like this specific drive, we've literally gone to an elementary school, we've gone to a Starbucks, a Whole Foods, and uh, you know we're gonna go back to a middle school and park. It's been absolutely perfect. The parking with precision, like, did you see me backing up there at that Whole Foods? It did not curb it at all. And even if it did, like, I wouldn't be too, it's not too big of a deal. I got the most rugged tires, uh, BF Goodrich on this, um, on this truck, uh, KO2s, uh, and they're great. Um, and so this has just been uh, just such a great drive. Now on some of my other drives, uh, that's where I kind of have an issue is that um you know it needs to and again i'm gonna keep beating this drum if it is a busy area it needs to figure out a way how do you park how do you land the spaceship right um but outside of that the tesla autopilot team releasing this on the cyber truck is amazing this is a huge step this is the only truck that can go park to park on the planet let alone it's on one of the only vehicles that can do it now so you know tesla has really just just killed it with this 1415 so i'm really impressed i'm really proud of the team for what they're doing and uh you know they really have just like continued to knock it out of the park all right so just rolling up going all the way in and then check that out oh did not go so it's gonna go all the way around but let's see how it handles that um, and ha how it goes all the way around. So I need it to park. I definitely do not want to do the curbside. So, okay, so it's just gonna park on the side. Um, but I'm just gonna say, I don't know if that's gonna change anything. It's gonna park here. That's kind of what I would expect. So again, this is where you would pick up a kid. So that's interesting as well. 